Hi everybody, this is Alchemist 2 and I am here to tell you about the TYVM tour and it was beyond incredible. We all had fans and you've got green and red. Of course Markiplier, he split the aisle in two so he said the team on the right is team red which is the team I was on and we won! <laughs> But um, I thought that I was going to have a nosebleed because he <laughs> he actually came out with no shirt on, and I thought, holy moly, you know, uh, you know, I can't help it. I have needs, but it was just unbelievably sensational. And he had Wade, and he had Bob, and he had Jared, and Ethan, and they were all spectacular and it was a night I'll never forget. I was sitting next to this girl and she was just the cutest little fangirl. <laughs> there was one point in time and there was one woman who said, I left my husband to see you and she said, I'd leave anybody to see you. <laughs> it was just hilarious and um, there was a guy who was standing in front of me and he had kind of uh, a derby cap and <clears throat> I kept getting texts from a friend of mine in the UK and of course I had it on silent so it wouldn't bother anybody but it was buzzing and it, it was a weird feeling I got right next to my hip and, blah, 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 and I, I kept making this weird face and laugh uh, it tickled and he looked at me and said you seem awfully amused I said well, I certainly am I was first of all I was really excited and for the first time in my entire life, I've actually done something outside my comfort zone. And there were a ton of people. The line from the Marat actually extended all the way out into the street. And I had never seen so many people. By the way, the fans served a dual purpose because it, it was hotter than the devil's oven in, in the Marat. Actually, I wasn't bad. I wasn't hot. But, um... It was just, it was so much fun. It was something I will never forget. And if Mark is watching this, please do this again because I was too shy to actually come up on stage when he asked for volunteers. I don't think he ever would have picked people from EE. I was kind of back in the back. Um, <clears throat> but I wanted to ask, my question, if you're listening to this, was um, how do you become successful on YouTube? Because... Uh, I only have 490 subscribers and I have a lot of views and it doesn't match up with the amount of subscribers I have but um, you know what it doesn't really matter because I'm doing this because first of all I enjoy doing it secondly I like to review concerts I've been to or events such as this one and and this was an event like no other it was <laughs> really incredible and it's a must for every Markiplier fan. If you're a Markiplier fan and you have the ability to go and do it, do it because it's so worth it and it was really not that expensive. He started off with your basic game, game show. I thought he was going to turn into Wharf Stash for a moment. I thought, ooh, <laughs> this would be intriguing. But it was a game show and Jerry was in this big bubble bath a uh, prop thing it had a little rubber ducky of foam rubber duck not foam rubber ducky but it was um a cloth rubber ducky it's just so it was i think it was inflatable uh, an inflatable thing but it was so so hysterical and they did improv and they played video games they played milk highly inappropriate game by the way and uh, there was one point where he won again and actually he defected to green for a moment which was so funny and uh, people on the green team when he went over to red they said you traitor but he said they don't call me Mark and move for nothing and it was this I died laughing it was so funny but um, back to the guy with the derby cap he actually we were in the same row and I thought hmm fascinating and he, <laughs> he looks over at me and he says ah oh, what a coincidence and I looked back at him and I said 
I don't believe in coincidences. He says, oh, you believe in fate. I said, I, uh, I, only the fate that we make ourselves. And um, he just, he, without even missing a beat, he looked at me and he said, do you believe in love at first sight? I thought, oh, <laughs> I thought, whoa, hello. Where's that coming from? I mean, it made me feel good, mind you, but this was coming from um, a young man who was probably 10 years my junior, and I really don't want to rob the cradle that much. It's just, I thought, oh, I'm going to feel like a prowler if I, if I hit on this kid. And <clears throat> he was a nice guy and all, but, you know, I just didn't really have any kind of attraction toward him you know there there wasn't any spark or fireworks that went off for me so if uh if that young man is watching i'm so sorry <laughs> i have to be honest i'm i'm very choosy i'm very picky but it was very validating for me to hear do you believe in love at first sight i thought oh i've been longing to hear those words for such a long time unfortunately it wasn't from the right person but you know You'll find your Ramona flowers. Don't give up. Uh, <laughs> just like I'm going to find my, um, who, who would I really want? Huh? Maybe Heckle. I'll find my Heckle. <laughs> yeah, Heckle is, who? I mean, I know he's a bad boy, but he is hot. <laughs> the actor who plays him is very, very handsome. I don't know. I would either go for him or my own shadow moon. I, would, I wouldn't mind having a shadow moon in my life, a protector. I, I think that would be great. Um, who else? I don't know. If I were gay, it would be, I would be looking for my Felix, but... <laughs> oh, well. Anyways, or my own companion. But it was the night of a lifetime, and hopefully Mark will do it again. And there's a lot going on in my life. Uh, I am going to be going to Cleveland, North Carolina in July to visit my relatives and see if I like it. If I like it, I stay. If I don't, then I'll probably move somewhere uh, closer to my work. Um, <clears throat> once that's all ironed out, I decided to take the plunge and attend full sale university as I planned and I know it's gonna cost me but um, it'll be well worth it uh, gonna have the bubble run this weekend which I will be participating in I'm not really sure what else is going on but it's, it's gonna be very very intriguing to see the course of events that plots its way into my life uh, see yeah I really don't know what else to say I know that's that's gonna happen in July and that's not that far away and then I'm having a court date and uh, the court dates for me to testify against somebody I'm not gonna say who but it was bound to happen eventually <clears throat> better to get justice and have this whole thing put to bed and get it over and done with because I don't really want to see his ugly mug again no offense uh, I forgive him, but I, I just don't, I don't want to have anything to do with him. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, I've got a dental appointment. I've got PopCon. I've got my relatives and then a big auction, which I think is mid-July. But it's, it's going to be really hecka busy. So um, I just, I'll take it as it comes, and I'm looking forward to it. So until next time, live long prosper. Ciao, tutti.